I don't ask people if they're saved anymore. Who isn't saved? From the White House to the jailhouse. I look a person in the eye and say, does Christ live in you? Christianity is the only religion in the world where a man's God comes and lives inside of him. And when you get to eternity and look back, the things of earth will look very grim. We'll possibly discover we've been as earthly minded as the reprobates outside who are dancing and lusting tonight. I've seen God do all kinds of miracles. People jump out of bath chairs. The greatest miracle that God can do is to take an unholy person out of an unholy world, make that unholy person holy, put them back in an unholy world and keep them holy. I'll tell you something in the presence of God. Revival doesn't cost a penny. It costs obedience, broken hearts, writing the world up and say, I don't care, I hang about the world, the flesh and the devil. And no man is greater than his prayer life. I don't care how many church members he has. We travel the country, but I walked the length of England, I walked the breadth of England with five college fellows. We slept in fields at night, we slept in churches. We didn't get a penny wage in six months, and nobody ever said a word. Because at night, we'd kneel in the street at 10 and 11 o'clock at night, and people get saved in the street. You don't care a who where you sleep. In the world there, the man that puts some bits of tin together and sits somebody in it and presses a button and shoots them, and they can walk around the moon. He thinks it's far beyond anything that's got anything to do with the Bible. It's all emotional. That man still has a missing link in his life. That man still has a, a, a place in his life that only God can fill. You say America needs God. No, she doesn't. She need, the church needs God. If the church gets God, America will soon feel it. You know, it seems everybody's broken in America, but the church isn't broken about it. Lord, I can't live another day without the fire of God. You need the fire of God to pray. You need the fire of God to see visions. You need the fire of God to recognize there's no help for us. Like David in Psalm 80, O oh, thou that dwellest between the cherubims, Lord, don't stay there, come down here. This period we're in now is a dressing room for eternity, that's all it is. The church has never faced the challenges it faces now. God's going to give us a new breed of men. And every time in that prayer meeting I would say this, Lord, at the judgment seat, don't stand there in your majesty and read the record of my poor life and say, Son, I had many things to tell you, but you couldn't bear them. You were too occupied. Your ears were catching other voices, but not mine. That's why that damnable TV has to get out of the way. You're hearing more about men than you hear about God. You're getting more vision that's television than you are about the vision of the Almighty God. I saw one hand lifted up and his glory filled the temple. He saw Jesus. That's what it says in the truth. And you know, when you see Jesus like that, you've been blinded to everything else in the world. All the heroes in Hebrews 11, not one of them ever had a Bible. And you and I have everything that God is ever going to say to the world. The only way he can draw you nearer to God is to draw everybody else away from you. The world is not waiting for a new definition of Christianity, it's waiting for a new demonstration of Christianity. There can be no birth without travel, there can be no revival without travel. You know, five minutes inside of heaven will all be embarrassed. We wish to God we'd be more faithful. We wish to God we'd be no, more obedient. We wish to God we'd have explored the possibilities of grace, as Lowry called the resources that there are in the Godhead. They know theology, they know about God, they know references in the scripture. But who really knows God? Christianity is NOT, not a sinning religion. It's a victorious religion. The salvation of America does not depend on the White House, it depends on God's house.